It's Local Edition. I'm Brad Palmer, and thanks for joining us. We are joined by Gary DeLong, member of the Long Beach City Council, also a candidate for the United States Congress. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. I want to speak with you about a more local issue, I think it's fair to say, and that's redevelopment. As you know, the state all but eliminated redevelopment in early 2011. It's before the Supreme Court now of California. What's your view on the all but elimination of redevelopment? Well, it's great to be back. Thank you. Please, please. Let me just say that while I fully support the state legislature trying to get the balanced budget mm -hmm. and making mm -hmm. cuts where necessary, I think they've done exactly the wrong thing. They have taken the largest economic development tool that cities and the state of California have had and they've take, taken it away. And I, I think that that's crazy. That's going to move us backwards, not forwards. How would you respond to those that would say, we don't have the luxury right now to take money, siphon off money, I don't mean that pejoratively, uh, from property taxes to fund incentive programs for sure. builders. Great. Well, let me tell you, first of all, I, I think you've, you've, you've described it well, but it's, it's not a luxury. It's our economic development tool. It's the way we get the economy going. It's the way we create jobs. It's the way we generate tax revenues. It's an investment. It's not an expense. What the state should be doing, the state should be cutting their expenses. They, they are bloated. They are bureaucratic. They keep wanting to provide no, more services that we can't afford. Let me be clear. I'm not an anti-government person. I think we should have as much government as we can afford. Government is good. Problem is we have more government we can afford. At the same time, the state did create a mechanism whereby a city can keep their redevelopment agency open. And that is they would have to pay a certain amount to the state. Some are calling it a ransom. Others are calling it a payment. If the Supreme Court upholds that element, would the city of Long Beach pay the amount to the state to keep its redevelopment agency open? Yes, we absolutely w would pay it. But let me just say, I don't know about ransom. We, we prefer the term extortion. Uh, uh, it's that severe. Oh, it's that severe. I mean, you know, we'll give you a dollar if you give us 30 cents. I mean, of course, we're, we're going to make that deal. But why are you stealing 30 cents from us in the first place? We also know, and you mentioned this, that the state of California has had a tremendous economic budget crisis throughout the last two or three years. Now, you're a city and not a county, so you're not really an arm of the state. But that being said, there have been tremendous impacts for municipalities throughout our state. We know that the governor of California recently imposed even more cuts pursuant to the June uh, budget that was passed. How is the city of Long Beach handling the economic crisis? Well, we, well you're correct. I mean, certainly, while, while, while though we're not part of the state, we're right. not an arm of the state, but certainly we suffer every time the state legislature mismanages the budget, which they clearly have done year after year after but, year. Well, those are fighting words. Is it a mismanagement or is it that, look, the way our tax code is structured, we are subject to peaks and valleys and there haven't been enough capital gains taxes. And as a result, it's not mismanagement. It's just bad bad economy. No, I, I think it's mismanagement because we have the same exact issues in Long Beach. I mean, we have those cyclical issues. We have our sales tax that go up and down. We have property taxes that go up and down. So how come in the city of Long Beach, we can make the difficult decisions. We can make the systemic cuts that have multi-year savings. We can do those things. Why can't the state of well, California? And, it, and it's difficult, by the way. It's not easy. I mean, maybe it, it sounds easy. It's not. It's well, very difficult. You're looking to move to Washington. Why? I'm not really sure. But that being said, I De mean, defective gene. Exactly. But that being said, they clearly have a fiscal challenge with they do. their deficits and debt. They do. They do. What are your ideas in I don't know, 45 seconds or less? Sure. Well, first of all, the cost of the federal government has doubled in the last 10 years. Think about that. It's and doubled. And that's as a result of Iraq, Afghanistan? All of the above. And two administrations, Republican and Democrat. So this isn't a partisan issue. Everybody needs to own this. Mm -hmm. But they've doubled. So first of all, you need to cut costs. I don't think you can cut costs all the way back to that 42% or whatever needs to go because 42% of every federal dollar is borrowed. But you got to start there. And once you're done there, you need, you need to generate revenues. But to me, generate revenues is not increasing taxes. Generate revenues is supporting the private sector, growing the economy, creating jobs. So those businesses will pay more in taxes because they're more successful. And everybody benefits from the lower income spectrum to the top. Everybody benefits. It's a win-win. That's yeah. what they need to do. He's Gary DeLong, member of the Long Beach City Council, also a candidate for Congress. I'm Brad Palmer. Thank you so much for joining us. Back to HLN. Charter Communications wishes all our troops and their families a safe and happy holiday season. PS2 RM Jonah Coloma, Station Navy Operational Support Center here on Guam. Holiday greetings to my family in Long Beach, California, Romeo and Yosida Coloma, and my brothers um, RDJ and Romeo Jr. Happy Holidays from Charter Communications.